Okay, it's working. Oh, um, well, hi. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Got off to a bad start. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, time for my pseudo cast. And, um, this time, um, I'm going to do something totally different here. And I'm doing this at the risk of seriously jacking up the file size on this thing. So this might take forever and a day to upload. But this came up in my uh, YouTube recommendations. Just totally out of nowhere. Um, it's called Amusement Arcade in Akihabara, Tokyo. Which, for those that don't know, Japan is pretty much the uh, mecca for video games. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, give this a play. So yeah, but like I, like I said, this... This came totally, totally random, way out of nowhere. So, I, so again, I thought I'd go ahead and give this a go. Um, it didn't really get it. Let me have a sound checker real quick. Oh shoot! It just hit me. It's only a, it's only a seven-minute video, so. I'm probably going to have to find something else here afterwards. So, yeah. Um, but... Uh, but anyway... Um, not a whole lot happened. Not a whole lot... Excuse me, not a whole lot happened last night. Um, to start with... Oh, 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 oh. Let me get... Before I get too far ahead of myself... Um, I'm going to... I'm going to crack open a can of V8 Energy Peach Mango Flavor. Get ready for some pops. Coffee loss. Okay, but but anyway, um, from the top, I had a call in sick from work last night because I'm, the uh, the side effects from getting a COVID vaccine are starting to kick in. Um, during my stream last night. All of a sudden, out of the blue, I just kind of went, <coughs> just kind of, just kind of went out of commission, like, like just like that. It was the same thing that happened before when I had my, uh, when I had my last vaccine. I was in the middle of streaming, and all of a sudden, plop, just became dead to the world. So, so same thing happened again. Um, oh, and um, also, I didn't really have a whole didn't really get much of a chance to write anything down so for the most part this is just going to be an improvised uh, an improvised cast yeah so didn't do much just um, did a little bit of gaming um, I tried playing Melty Blood again but I ended up having to just uninstall and get a refund on the thing not because of the game itself but because of this whole this whole ritual that I have to do just to make my controller work on that game. Um, I like to have idle games going in the background whenever I'm gaming, but the problem is is uh um as long as the uh, as long as they're running, I can't um my controller won't work on on, on other games. And because for some for some reason I don't understand the the idle games that I'm currently playing, my controller actually works on them. Like I could use my right analog stick to move the mouse around. And um, for some reason, they, they how can I explain it? They, they hawk, they hawk, they hawk the controller. Again, I it's very hard for me to explain this, but if I have a, if I have any of these games going. My controller will not work on other games despite the fact that uh, I may not be in the idle game window. I might be in the actual game. Some games you can do this. Um, Pinball FX3 and Arcade first come to mind, but I mean, the mouse, the mouse works on those pinball games, and even if, and they're still gonna, they're still work even if I switch to another window. My mouse pointer will work on that window, but not for these games. So again, what I end up having, and what I had to do. So, in order for me to play Melty Blood, I'd have to, I'd have to shut down my all my idle games, and that's just only half of it. The other half of it is, uh, I have to have, uh, I have to have Steam in big picture mode. 
I have to turn that thing, I have to turn that unwieldy thing on just to be able to play Melty Bullet. Or again, just to, just for, uh, to be able to use my controller and Melty Bullet. So like I said, there's this whole, there's this whole ritual I have to go through just to get this to work. So, so, I mean, again, through no fault of the game itself. The game itself, I actually kind of like. It, it's just, um, it's just the BS that I have to go through just to get it up, just to make it work. So, I ended up just getting a refund and uninstalling the game. And then, um, I also tried playing a little bit of pinball, but, oh, and also keep in mind, throughout all of this, I am, for the most part, half asleep. So, I mean, like I said, the fatigue's pretty much gotten a hold of me. And, um, and, and, this is also with me, um, uh, popping no-dose, too. Like, popping a caffeine tablet. It, it, it wasn't helping. But, yeah, it wasn't really helping at all. I'm still... So, so, yeah, it was very unfortunate I had to do that. Couple that with the fact that uh, I watched a, I started watching a video, um, the current state of the FGC, that short for fighting game community, in 2021, and um, they uh, showed a short, they showed a short video of an arcade. That arcade had Melty Blood in there, and it was the very same one that I was playing. I don't know how old that um, little bit of video footage was, but it, what I, the Melty Blood that I played last, um, I think on Tuesday's stream, is an actual freaking arcade game. So yeah, needless to say, I was a little pissed off that, that I had to uninstall it. I mean, because like I, I mean, because part of that too is um, I kind of made, I kind of made an illusion, I kind of alluded to that to the fact that. Motion inputs on Melty Blood are almost too easy to execute. I was practically mashing them. I mean, I'm sitting here just down forward button, down forward button, down forward button, down forward button, down back button, um, Z motion button, or, or, or AKA uppercut motion. For those that don't know what that is, it's forward, down, down to forward, or down and forward, excuse me, nasty habit of mine. So it's forward, down, down, or down and forward, down and forward, and then an attack button. It's it's also called the DP motion, upper, I call it the uppercut motion. Um, I've also started calling it the Z motion. Okay, um, all right, video is about to end. Let me pause it, let me pause it. Okay, the screen's going to go black, and uh, I want to find me another one of these. Like an like walking in an arcade. So, so let me see if I can find something else here. Okay, pause. Okay, I found another one. In fact. I guess I should have just played this one. But this is going to be a... This one here, is, I think, is going to be a month old. Um, tour to Japanese Arcades in Akihabara, Tokyo. Uh, May 2021, so this is like a month ago. About a month ago. But anyway, um, to rewind a little bit. So yeah, was, it kind of pissed... But when I saw this arcade machine, or yeah, when I saw this, when I saw this, uh, hang on, let me get the words right. When I saw Melty Blood in this arcade, I was kind of pissed off that I had to uninstall it. Cause like 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 I said, it's it, it was like a it was like motion input heaven. It was I actually had an easy time doing the motion input moves in this game. And not to mention, again, this is a legit arcade game. I saw it in the arcade footage that I saw, you know. It, it's there. I mean, so... So, I was kind of ticked off that I had to uninstall it. But again, I... 
if, if I was to play that game fairly often, it would have been just, it would have been this annoying ritual to have to sit there and get everything all set up properly and in a certain way with certain conditions have to be met just to be able to use a controller, etc. So, yeah. I, oh, so they have claw games too. Yeah, it just occurred to me. So, but yeah, and, um, and I'm, um, I also played a little bit of pinball as well, FX3 and Arcade, but I pretty much sucked. Just nothing was working for me, and again, I'm trying to do this while half asleep, so I probably wasn't exactly laser focused on any of these uh, tables that I was playing. So this is basically just a rinse and repeat. The last video was probably just a short and sweet version of this one. Yeah, and that's, um, uh, that is one thing I really, really miss about this country. Arcades are, for the most part, non-existent. And, uh, and the closest, the closest arcade to where I live is about 20 miles away in a bowling alley. And it's got a whole bunch of pinball machines, but the problem is, is, uh, one, uh, with the exception of two tables that I can think of, uh, Captain Fantastic and I think Ted Nugent, all the rest of them cost at least two quarters. I know there's, uh, there's one table there, uh, Monster Bash. I think it's a buck and a half to play. I mean, that's a fucking ripoff right there. And, and also, to say nothing of the fact that uh, a lot of these tables are poorly maintained, like they're not level, like um, the ball will travel. I know a fun house, uh, the fun house table is a perfect example of this. I mean, the ball will sit there and just roll. For a moment, it would roll straight down, and then all of a sudden, it, it'll just all of a sudden, it'll roll to the right. Like, because, again, the table's not leveled at all. It'll, like, roll to the right, past the right flipper, and, like, in the in the corner of the uh, right in lane. It'll, it'll kind of, like, come to a stop around there. So, yeah, and, it, and there's uh, other tables that are like this, too. You know, like, the some of the flippers are really weak. Um, the, the wood, like, the wood floor that the ball rolls on, there's, like, little divots. In some of those tables, you know, but I mean, I, I get it. These machines are just poorly maintained. You know, these are probably the same. These are probably the same people that say shit like, oh, "Virtual tables are so fake. They're so not like the real thing." Oh my God, you must truly be desperate if you have to play this. You know, these are probably the same people that, that piss me Well, maintaining tables are so expensive. You know, like, why even get the damn things to begin with? So. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I know, when it comes to pinball, you know, I love me some real tables. As long as they're properly maintained. I mean, but if they're not, if they're, if you know, if they're maintained like shit then yeah, I'd much rather play a damn virtual table than, than, a, than a junky one. But kind of going back to what I'm say, what I was saying, you know, I kind of, you know, I kind of, I kind of miss having arcades around. I mean, because, you know, the closest I have now to an arcade is in a bowling alley about 20 miles away from where I live. So, and the aforementioned complaints all the pinball, all the pinball machines are super expensive. Super expensive and poorly maintained. I mean, hell no, I'm not going to be sick of my quarters under that crap. I mean, now what I have, now when I have games like Pinball FX3 and Pinball Arcade right at my fingertips, that that actually work a lot better, despite them being virtual tables, that work a lot better than the poorly maintained ones at the bowling alley. So. But I mean, but again, sorry to sound like a broken record, but I wish I, had, I wish I'd see more arcades around these, around my neck in the woods. 
But no, I mean, just, again, because of the console, computer, you know, being able to, both being able to rec, to, to me, they can actually closely replicate arcade, you know, arcade machines. You never need, need to leave the house. And this isn't, to me, this isn't a new issue. This has been going on probably since the 70s when Atari 2600, when the Atari 2600 first came out. You know, arcades have been, you know, the the ball wasn't, you know, the ball was put in motion when that happened. I mean, granted, um, you know, the overall quality of consoles weren't near what you could find in arcades. But that pretty much changed, I'd say probably around the late 90s, early 2000s, like when the, the PS1, um, I believe the Xbox, Dreamcast, um, I think there was some, there's, there's another console or two on that I'm missing in there, but basically when the overall, the overall quality of those games started to pass what, or it started to eat, to either meet or surpass what you can see in arcades. That was when arcades really started becoming obsolete. I mean, during the 80s, there were video game crashes and stuff, but in my experience, they were, they were still going pretty strong. I mean, again, consoles was probably, was probably uh, destroying some of the business of arcades, but arcades were still alive for the most part. Because the, again, overall quality in arcades were still, was still better than what, what you had in the, uh, what you had in console. Console wasn't quite there. So. Um, but otherwise, the way things are looking now, um, I'm, if, uh, if, if this evening is going to be a rinse and repeat of, uh, last night, then chances are I might end up having a call in again. And uh, luckily, I'm hoping I'm not wrong about this. But I remember, um, I remember uh, the overall water cooler talk at my job that uh, if you call in due to COVID, it won't count against you. But, um, and I think you have up to, I think they gave you up to two weeks of COVID leave. So I'm, I'm assuming what they mean by that is that um, you could you could take up to two weeks off due to COVID, and again it won't count against you. Or at my at my job, Walmart, um, you could call in up to five times in a rolling six month period, but after that you face termination. But again, if you're call if you're call if you uh, if your call-ins are due to COVID, then it won't count against you. Jesus Christ. A Sega building? Man, I think this 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 video here would have been something that would have been better off if I actually watched it. But like I said, I just this came up on my uh, YouTube recommendations, so that's the only reason why I have this up. I figured, you know, just I'm pretty much burned out on everything else that I've been putting up. I mean, I'd love to love to put some people watching videos up here, but they're few and far between and I and I don't like doing the same video twice. So, I've been looking for other options. Yeah, this would have been better if I actually sat back, sat down and watched this. Because right now, I'm feeling like a kid in a candy store. I mean, I, I mean, I've been into video games ever since I was a little kid. Like back in the early to mid-70s. But anyway, um, going back to what I was saying, I'm hoping that I'm hoping I'm right about this. Otherwise, I I might be facing term I might be facing termination then. You know, because again, I had a call in last night for COVID reasons. Um, either Monday or Tuesday, I had my second vaccine shot, and so now the side effects are kicking in. This is the same thing that happened to me. Uh, about a month ago when I had my first uh, vaccine shot a few days at 
a few days later, I just suddenly dozed off. Yeah. The last video that I showed, it was just a, a short version of this one. So, okay. Yeah, that last video is just an excerpt. Because this is like deja vu right here. But, uh, but, again, sorry to sound like a broken record, but I hope I'm right about this, that uh, my, my, my call-ins due to COVID won't count against me. So. Okay, but um, as it's about 20 minutes right now, and I'm, I'm pretty much at a loss for other stuff to talk about, again, 90% of this was improvised. I didn't really write anything down. So, um, eight floors? Oh, the yeah, eighth floor is staff only, though. But you got eight floors of this shit? Oh my god, yeah. This is definitely something that I should just sit back and should, I should just be sitting down and watching. Okay, but yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and cut it off here. Again, we're a little bit past my 15 minute cutoff. Uh, for those that don't know, here, let me, let me pause it. But again, for those that don't know, the reason why I like a, I like to have a 15 minute cutoff is just because I don't I don't want to make the same mistake I did when I first started doing these. Um, the first two that I did, I basically just spilled my guts out, just poured everything out there. They both lasted anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes. But what ended up happening on my subsequent pseudo cast is uh. I was at a total loss for things to say. Um, I basically had burned my, I basically blew myself out on my first two casts. So my, my next, my next subsequent ones, I had a, I had a pull up a, it was called a random subject generator, just for just to keep the to keep the cast going and give me something to talk about. So from there on after, I just made a, I just, oh excuse me, I just uh, instituted a 15 minute cutoff. Thinking 15 minutes was a good amount of time to, to you know, to get some stuff going. You know, not too short, not too long. So, but anyway, just try to explain my reasonings behind that. Um, but otherwise, hey, thanks for thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And uh, and uh, if uh, if I do call in tonight, then I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. Um, if not, then that, that means I was probably in, in a good enough shape to go into work. So, uh, but until then, though, everybody, thanks again for coming and take care and see you all next time. Bye now.